What is the quickest in a drag race? A Toyota Supra that's been moderately tuned or a Nissan Silvia S15 that's been massively tuned? Well, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna race them over the standing quarter mile. Because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. So let me tell you about this Supra. It has a three litre single turbo straight six. However, the turbo has been replaced by a company called Withbit in Wales for a hybrid turbo. They've also fitted some downpipes, a titanium exhaust, and done an ECU tune. That costs 6,000 pounds on top of the car's starting price of 54,000 pounds. Now that engine drives the rear wheels only via an eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control. In terms of the weight, this thing weighs in at 1,500 kilos. Let's speak to the owner of the S15. It's Luke from Geo by Luke. Tell me about your pink car. So it's a Nissan Silvia S15 running around 700 horsepower. So you have 100 more horsepower than me. That is not fair. Tell me what you've done to your car to create 700 horsepower. So to make that power, we've got a DY engine's dart and sleeve block with big pistons and a massive turbo. It's a fully built engine, yeah? Yeah, fully built. So how much have you spent on the performance mods on your car? Probably about 80,000. <laughs> For the mods? On the engine alone? No, not, not the engine alone, just everything in general, the whole car. What do you think it's worth now if you were to sell it? I, t I couldn't answer that, unfortunately. <laughs> Is it less than £80,000? Yeah, I'd probably say so. Even to the right person? There's someone in this world, I'm sure. I suppose being addicted to modifying your car is slightly better than being addicted to hard drugs. At least I've got something to show at the end of it. Whether it's half the money, there's something there. <laughs> and you can certainly show that car off because it's very, very bright. You know, when I saw this Supra turn up in bright yellow, I thought that's going to be the brightest car here today. But oh no, Luke, you showed up with your S15. But how's it going to perform? Do you think it's going to win? It's 100 horsepower up. You have a manual gearbox, don't you? Yeah, so I'm not sure how well it's going to be. Manual gearbox, no traction, no ABS, no nothing. Off the line, I'm not sure, but potentially on the roll race could be good. Well, let's find out. So what engine is in it? What's the capacity exactly? So the engine's a 2.2 SR20, or SR22, basically. Let's have a listen to what your four-cylinder sounds like. Can you rev it up? That sounds pretty good. Now, have a listen to this. I like it, I like it. Let's do them both together. Ah, oh, that was fun. Let's get on with the race. But first, maybe we should warm up the tires. That'll do, that'll do. Good luck, Luke. Good luck. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> I think he's going to need it. I've got the easy job here. Three, two, one. Oh, he's making a lot of noise. He's going to have no chance. This is just flying. Um, how was that for you, Luke? I probably could do better than that. First time launching it properly. Would you like another go? Yeah, let's run it again. Three, two, one. Oh, you had a wicked launch. Come on, it's game on. Hopping on the gear changes. Bomb gapping him. Luke, mate, you seem to have a better launch that time. That was much better for me, I'm not going to lie, but 
getting from fourth to fifth was a bit of a nightmare, but I got a better launch. So what would you like to do? We'd like to call it there because it is two out of three that I did win, or we'd like one last chance? Uh, I think we should just go into the roll race. You think you're going to have me in the roll race? I can tell. I can tell. But before we do that, let's do the thing. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Toyota won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.8 seconds. The Nissan was second with a time of 12.4 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna have a rolling grace from about 30 miles an hour in second gear. First of the half mile wins. Three, two, one, go. Congratulations on that decisive victory, Luke. Your car just shot off, didn't it? Right from the get-go, really impressive when it's on boost. Yeah, that was a good gear for me. I'm not sure how well third's gonna do, but second gear was on boost. I've just remembered this car has anti-lag. So let's do second gear roll on again, but this time I'm gonna use my anti-lag. See if I can stay with you for a little bit longer. So I just press this button down here, then I'll call it in. Three, two, one, go. That didn't help at all. Not at all. Yeah, it seems like it's made that worse, Matt. I don't know what, what went wrong there, but yeah, maybe don't use rolling anti-lag. Maybe I won't. There's too many things to press, like I've got to do the radio, I've got to do the gear, I've got to do the anti-lag, and it just seemed to hold back the power. No, I won't bother with it. Okay then, Luke, stay with me. Race over the half mile again, this time third gear from around 53, two, you're cheating. You can't cheat. <laughs> no building up a boost or increasing the speed. You gotta stay level until I say go, and then you floor it. Right, come on then, no cheating. Three, two, one, go. It's closer now. Not so much of a gap that time. You still won, but yeah, when you play fair, it's a bit closer. Third gear is definitely not, not the one for me, man. I had better results on second gear, 100%, but that was a lot more fair. Definitely was close. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is a rolling race in top gear from around 60 miles an hour. So I'm gonna get one into eighth, go up to 60, then we're gonna floor them. He's in sixth gear. Three, two, one, go. Hello. on boost. I've not got any boost. Yeah, you got boost. I never got it. Oh, man. I've never, ever, ever done that to my car, but it's quite amazing to see what it's like. There's a big load of turbo lag, but not quite as much as I had. It just couldn't pull the skin off a rice pudding, this thing. Now I want to say a huge thanks to Luke for joining us in this race and to Whiffbits for sorting out this car. Links are in the description.